Photoshop is used every day for powerful, serious editing. In this episode, I want to talk about something that isn't serious at all, and that's adding pet heads to other pets. This is something we see all over the web. It's very popular, and there's some tips and tricks to make sure that you do it right. Let's take a look at how it's done. Let's start with a practical example. We've got a nice expression here, and I want to take that dog's head and drop it onto this body. Now, I foresee a bit of a problem, which is that these ears are going to stick out and get in the way. So we need to remove this dog's head. And to do so, we're going to take our quick select tool and just select the area that we want to remove. We're going to paint in the area we want, and we're going to option or alt click the area that we don't want. And it's a good idea to expand your selection to give it a little extra room to work. That should be all right. I'm going to hit the delete key and make sure that this is set to content aware and click OK. And that's just fine. It's OK if it's not perfect because the other layer is going to obscure most of it. I'm going to deselect that and move back over here to this one. Again, using the quick select tool, I'm just going to paint in the area that I want. Now, if I was really taking my time here, I might stop and select the individual whiskers. But for the sake of this example, that's going to be good enough. I'm going to hit Command C to copy that. I'm going to move over to my other tab and hit Command V to drop that in. Now, I'm going to hit Command T to transform it. Now, if the proportions are important to me, I'm going to constrain them by holding the Shift key. For the sake of this example, it's not that important because they're different shots. I'm going to get the size about right and then move his head into position. I can even tilt it a little from here. And when I'm ready, I click the checkbox to commit that. Now, there are a couple things I can do to make this a little more believable. And one is to try to match the tone. If I were to come up here to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast, simply lowering the contrast is going to make a big difference. I might also choose to make this just a little bit darker. OK, that looks pretty decent. One last step that'll help a lot is to take the eraser tool, make sure I've got a soft edge. I can use my Control and Alt keys and move up and down, and then just soften the bottom of my selection. Just like with the initial selection, taking the time to go in there and massage it is going to give me the best results, but you get the idea. So let's take a look at our practical example and where it started. That's where it was. And that's where we took it. All right, so that's a pretty practical example of moving a dog's head from one body to the other. Let's do something a little more ridiculous. Let's take that same dog's head, which is copied to our clipboard, and drop it over onto a cat. OK. I'm just going to hit Command-V, and it's going to drop that same layer in there. Again, Command-T is going to transform it. So I just want to make it a little bit larger, move it into position, rotate it, we make it a little wider. And I think in this image, it would look better if it was facing the other way. So I'm going to grab one side and move it to the other. I can just flip it around, move it where I want, turn it. And you can adjust quite a bit just by transforming and moving this around. Again, you can use the brush to paint out the edges. You could change the color. But as you can see, it's pretty easy to make your image look completely ridiculous really quickly using layers and transforms in Photoshop.